you know, AAA development seems to only do the same things. I mean, I can understand that. It makes sense from a business standpoint to keep doing what people keep wasting their money on, but video games are something where doing something from a business standpoint is the worst idea since letting Bo Anderson do anything related to social media. Simply because video games aren't purely a business. They're games. In some cases, art. They're built to have fun, and some companies... <coughs> Ubisoft <coughs> and Microsoft Studios... <coughs> Sorry about that. Have started to ruin this. Imagine if you were reading a book, and at the climax of this page, it gives you a number, and you have to call it, and the person on the other line is just to buy the rest. But if you want a video preaching the evils of corporate America, then you've come to the wrong video. That else is just cause three review, you idiot. Uh, but as I've just spoiled, <laughs> today we're talking about Just Cause 3, a game that takes AAA trends and uses their evil powers for good, like the Paradox Faction from Lego Universe, only grown up and several times more awesome. This game's DLC is no hostage content, no siree. The pre-order bonuses are just weaponized vehicles that sound overpowered but really aren't, and a sniper rifle that's slightly better against vehicles. You can get any of these for just $2.50 on Steam, which is... It's a little steep, but the important thing here is that they're selling legitimate, optional extra content as DLC. And the first big expansion is slated to release later this month at 11 bucks. That 11 bucks gives you all new missions, a new enemy type, and a jetpack that you can equip, along with a new area of the map in the sky. Now, this is what I call fair pricing, although before launch, everybody was complaining about how there was this insignificant DLC in here and could proclaim this is the end of the franchise, which I talked about in a previous video. It was really people going on about, How dare a company try to make money? I want a product of years of this team's hard work for free. And yes, I know there's a link in the bottom text of the image, and I'm sorry for using this person's meme, jeez, guys. <sighs> Anyway, this game doesn't only get DLC right, it can also use AAA's other powers for good too. While Call of Duty uses cutscene set pieces to wow its 12 year old audience. Just because 3 brings in those set pieces into the freaking game. In fact, going around and blowing crap up is the main mechanic of the game. Seriously, use it to blow up bases, complete story missions, and just have a bit of fun. And, since there's so many creative ways to simply annihilate everything with red paint on it, and said things with red paint on them are fully physics-enabled and, like, crumble and fall and stuff in, like, actual physics-based things, this will almost never get old. And it's not just blowing up stuff that never gets old, either. The game itself basically never gets old, at least not quickly, which is nice, because something I have with most other open world games is that there's something I like to call been there done that syndrome. You sort of just end up having done everything and it gets boring after a while, but Just Cause 3 doesn't. At least, like I said, not quickly. By the end of the game's story, you can do so much stuff. Call in any vehicle in the game, wingsuit around, use several extremely powerful weapons that no one should probably ever attain, and restore any base to its original oppressed state to do the damage again. The best part is that the developers know exactly what people want from an open world, and they deliver. Basically everything in this game is a toy for you to play with, everything from your gear to the civilians to the 25 square kilometer world. Seriously, there's 25 square kilometer world in this game, it's amazing. Avalanche Studios focused on the sandbox aspect of the game and making it actually fun first, before money or even story. Speaking of story, have you ever hated the cookie-cutter stories of other AAA games? Well, it just causes me to typo it to just Kuaz 3. Doesn't just have a bad story, it embraces it. Yeah, the story isn't really good. But they still do a good job of making another truly hateable dictator for you to, uh, use for target practice. Besides, playing Just Cause 3 for the story is like watching Transformers for the human-alien trans-dimensional conflicts or whatever. Yeah, they're there, but we just want to see some epic action scenes, even though there's an interesting tree school video I watched earlier on how Just Cause 3's story is actually incredibly clever. Link's in the description. Uh, personally, though, as with open world games, I like to blast the story to unlock all the cool stuff, then completely ignore it while making up my own story for the game. For example, in this game, uh, it's quite a bit more fun to play if you imagine that the entire game is about your side being good games, a bunch of violent, passionate rebels trying to destroy the brown copied cash-in games that companies like Activision make. Seriously, it's fun! They even have DRM on the side of their cars! 
However, cause that is just the third does have a darker side, that being, well, DRM, ironically. Along with the online requirement for the leaderboards, this game has Denuvo on it, which is basically DRM for DRM. Fortunately, it's barely noticeable, and you can always play in offline mode to skip the 5 second login time if you're that impatient. But what I cannot excuse is the mediocre optimization of this game. The loading screens take forever, and I run it on medium settings in my GTX 960 gaming rig that sounds like a jet turbine in the background, seriously, listen. And it still lags while recording. To give the game credit, the just third cousin to Saints Row did have a lot worse issues on launch, but they quickly fix them, and this is most likely my fault for having a fairly beginner's gaming rig. I don't know. Anyway, so now you know exactly why you should play Just Cause 3, chaotic good wielder of AAA tropes. Trope A. -A. <laughs> Trope A. -A. Ah, yay for puns! No. Eh. Okay, fine. But seriously, you should go buy this game now. It's probably one of the few truly fantastic releases of 2015. Seriously, it's better than GTA. Not kidding. Still here? Haven't bought the game yet? Hmm. Well then, uh... Don't you have a Call of Duty match to get playing? <laughs>